So here you see in front of you is Windows 11 running on VMware Fusion build 22H2, their new version that came out. It's a technical preview. Uh, before when I attempted this uh, video that obviously was taken down but is still up um, elsewhere, you couldn't get a lot of support. Like the display resolution didn't have support. You didn't have the right drivers for it or anything. But as of like a couple weeks ago, VMware actually released this new version and they gave you access to VMware tools finally as well to do pretty much what you need to do and actually make it a functional uh, workstation. Now I can tell you one thing, you definitely cannot play games with this still. And I'll show you in a second what I mean by that. But there were a few quirks that were with it um, that I had to deal with. Um, one was when I was uh, extracting the .sh file, I had to uh, put in some new lines of command line code in order to get that file to get extracted. One, maybe because I didn't remember, or two, just because stuff has changed. Um, but for the most part, the old tutorial that I made long time ago still uh, functions pretty much straightforward, only you have to do less things to get it to work. Now, there is one thing that I will tell you is if I go here to uh, VMware and I go to save my virtual machine library, right? Uh, there's a new function here if you hit the plus button and you hit new and then you can see install from disk create a custom virtual machine we'll just create a custom one so there's a new thing here that says microsoft windows 11 64-bit arm when i tried to test that and that was this top one right here i couldn't get it to boot it showed pxc over whatever the thing that message that usually pops up it showed that so i had to resort all the way back to my old method, which was simply creating an other operating system under other 64-bit ARM, and then tweaking the VMX file like my previous tutorial, which I will put a link to um, in the description box so you guys can go to that privately hosted video and look at it as much as you want. Also, another thing that I will tell you with this is that uh, I will be updating the blog post, hopefully either by the, when the video comes out, by the, when this video comes out, or very shortly after, so that way you guys can try this out for yourself. Because as far as I tried, I could not get this the easy method of so-and-so uh, to actually work where you just set it up like this. So now let's exit out, uh, hit cancel, and let's jump into the OS itself. So as you see here, I got everything working. In fact, if you go up above, I believe to virtual machine, you see install VMware tools. When you click that button, it actually mounts the VMware tools to your file explorer inside your virtual machine and then it'll show up under this pc and you'll see vmware tools there in fact let's see what happens if i do it even though i've already done it so it says here do you want to connect uh, vmware tools to the installer cd and if you do that let's see what pops up there you go so this is what pops up and then you see setup.ps1 this is a powershell file so you'll have to open up an elevated powershell prompt or just right click and then show more options and then open as uh, I have terminal now, but you got to open up PowerShell to do it. It's pretty straightforward to do that. But again, all of that thing will be updated in the blog post. This is just a showcase that it finally works a lot better than it used to. So hitting exit, you can one thing you can tell by the UI is that it's still very much squared. There's no round corners or anything like that. Everything is squared off for the most part, other than you see that I do have tab file explorer. And another thing you want to know, it's that I am running the latest build that came out as of like, I think yesterday as a recording or so, 25174 of the dev channel, uh, Windows Insider Pro Insider Preview. And I'm also running this on macOS Ventura Public Beta 2. So I'm using the latest software compared to the past uh, to do everything. This is the same M1 Mac, eight gigabyte model, base model that you can get for like 499 or less um, that I was using before, it's just, it works better and everything is so much smoother like the frame rate is so much smoother everything is smoother um, I believe they say that you can drag um, files into the the guest OS but let me see will it even work I don't see a way to drag files let's see what happens if I copy a file and then I want to hit paste will paste even show up at all I don't think so no paste does not work so I guess you cannot drag files at all uh, from your main OS to the guest OS, which is this Windows 11. But another thing I wanted to show everybody was uh, I do actually have the Microsoft Store working now. So you see right there, Microsoft Store shows, and you do see that I'm, I was testing Minecraft and I was testing Cuphead as well. Um, and I'll get to those again in just a second. But the one thing with the Microsoft Store is Believe it or not, the way you get that to work is you simply have to go to the exp, type in in Google or Bing, whatever you choose to use, 
um, and search for Xbox app download. Uh, and then download the Xbox app from Microsoft's website. And once you do that and install it, you'll get this installer, you'll install it, and then you'll have the Xbox app. Once you have the Xbox app, then all you'll have to do is just open it up. You can see here, Xbox app will open up in just a second. There you go, so the Xbox app opened up. What you will see, and I don't see right now because I've already fixed everything that needs to be fixed, you'll see a big red bar at the bottom here that says you need some more things uh, installed in order to get this to work correctly. Um, and one of those major things is in fact the Microsoft Store. So you see it says here, fix it now, but this is for launching games. I cannot actually launch games and I'll show you an example of that in a second. But what you'll see before this is you'll see that it needs the Microsoft Store. And when you try to, when you click on that button that shows up for you guys, then you will be able to install the Microsoft Store and everything will work perfectly. As you can tell, if I go to the Windows button and then I go to Microsoft Store, it's going to load up the Microsoft Store. That's something that I didn't get to use before either. And I tried the Xbox method as well on the previous video and it did not work. So here, now you can download whatever you need uh, from the Microsoft Store and it'll work like a charm other than games. Uh, it will work like a charm. I haven't tried the mobile games yet, but the, the Xbox titles, the AAA titles, you know, AA titles, those things work flawlessly. Uh, or those do not work at all, um, rather. But everything else seems to work well. One quirk that happened before I installed the Microsoft Store, however, is that, uh, as you know, Instagram and Spotify and Disney Plus, they are pretty much advertisements. They're not actually installed on the computer just yet. But when you click on it, then they start to install, which gave me a, a hint in my head that, you know, how are these installing? Where are these installing from when the Microsoft Store is not officially there? which means that the drivers for the Microsoft Store were there, it's just we didn't have access to it on ARM, which was weird. So when you click on them, they would install and they'd open like normal. So then it prompted me to continue thinking, let's get into the micro, let's try to figure out how to get into the Microsoft Store. So that works. And then once you install VMware tools as well, uh, if I right click and I hit display settings here, you can see that we do have our own display settings now up to 4K resolution and this this kind of resolution here, whatever this is, but you have up to 4K resolution. I'm not gonna click it because the screen is not that big, um, but you have all the display settings you need. Everything is scaled correctly. Um, and then another thing too, just like the last tutorial is the internet. The internet works. Um, it doesn't work as easy as VMware claims that it's supposed to work automatically. I had to pull the same strings that I did in the previous video that I did for this, which again is all in the description box uh, to get internet worked. It's just typing in a command line code or two of them and then it works restarting the computer and then the internet just works fu functions like normal. Um, so that's another thing that's kind of quirky, but it, it works fine once you get it to work. Um, other than that, Windows update works like a charm. I updated two things already. I think cumulative update and something else, a security package and that was it. Um, but yeah, overall, it works pretty well. A little light ear is available. I can watch light ear. That's pretty cool. Um, it works pretty well. Now I'm going to try to launch Cuphead. I got an Xbox controller next to me here. It's not going to actually open up past this splash screen right here at all. It'll stay like this till it closes off on its own. And I'm not even going to have you guys wait through this. So I'm just going to hit exit just because I know that it does not work. Um, same thing for Minecraft, a very simple game that works on everything. Minecraft does not actually load at all because there's some issues. Uh, I don't know what the issues are. In fact, I'll leave that one up and then see here it says, uh, having trouble installing or launching games, fix it now. It opens up Edge. By the way, I did update Edge. When this update, when this shows up in Edge, I noticed that this link doesn't actually go to anything. This link does not work at all. I tried it on my main PC that's recording this video. And this link that Microsoft's giving does not actually get, take you anywhere. It takes you to an error page. It loads almost endlessly. And when it finally finishes, it takes you to an error page. So I don't know what this link is. Um, I'll do some more research and maybe I'll figure it out. If I figure it out, I'll make a separate video for this. But overall, you can see here, Minecraft does not load. Uh, in fact, I'll hit exit now. Minimize edge. Everything else, though, works like a charm. You can opt into the insider program. I can do tests for Windows in, Windows uh, 11 on ARM uh, on this machine, on this M1 Mac, perfectly. Um, I have the Microsoft Store. Things install from the Microsoft Store. Only thing you don't have is rounded corners, and you got to pull some strings to get some of the extra things to work. But all of those things I'll document. Um, for now, I just wanted to show you all this uh, quick, maybe 12-minute video 
um, just showing you that it works so much better now. VMware, thank you so much, but there are some improvements you probably need to do because I still had to pull strings to get this thing working, and uh, I wish I didn't have to pull any strings. So we'll see what happens in the future. I'm hoping for the best. Take care, everybody, and stay tuned for the updated blog post um, for getting this to work for yourselves.